Hello to my beautiful knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Who? Roll Diamond, aka Mr. Nervous, coming back at you with another what? Phenomenal video. So, my topic is basically about um, embrace your mature peace. And what I mean by that is basically when you begin to walk in your peace, it's basically not allowing like your past to haunt you, to hurt you. To make you feel guilty or inferior. Not allowing the opinions of your family to make you feel small, weak, and insignificant. Not allowing certain situations, circumstances to kind of like disrupt your aura, your your maturity, your, your mentality. To make you come outside and become someone that you're not. You know what I'm saying? Basically calling you to become... Um, uh, what you call that like um aggressive or retaliating or or doing the most you get what i'm saying and when you embrace your mature peace it's basically if people trying to get a rise out of you you'd be like you maintain your mature peace by like not even entertaining the nonsense if you already know someone's about drama gossip negativity all this then you know what it's time for you to embrace your mature peace and be like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just can't entertain this anymore. It's just, honestly, it's just degrading. It's, it's um, draining and it's just depleting. And I don't got time for that. If we can't talk about something more than just the same thing over and over and over and it's all negativity and complaining and no, there's no resolution, you just want to complain, then it's time to cut those ties. It's time to really be like, make sure you only, you know, set boundaries. You only, you know, like maybe a couple minutes and keep it, keep, keep it cool with it. You're like, peace. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep entertaining foolishness if you're trying to reach greatness, if you're trying to walk in your mature peace. You get what I'm saying? Because those things end up like interfering with your with your mojo, with your aura, with your serenity, with your peace, with your love, with your happiness and your excitement, your enthusiasm and your optimism and all this other stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't allow certain things to keep interfering with your mature peace. Like if God gave you wisdom and understanding, like basically you was doing something, but he revealed to you that that's gonna lead down a dark path, you stopped it. And when you see like warning signs that you're about to head down that, that path or entertaining certain things that will lead into temptation into into those things, then that's a clear red, uh, a red flag, a sign for you to be like, let me not even do this or that or think this, say this or entertain this person because it's gonna lead me down what God has took me out of. Understanding your mature peace and walking in your mature peace. Displaying also mature peace is giving people wisdom and understanding for them, for not only to set them free, but for allowing them an opportunity to grow out of an old wing. Because sometimes people don't know what they don't know. If they do know, they should do better. And if they don't do better, it's because they want to stay <clears throat> in their old self. You get what I'm saying? Basically being prideful or stubborn in their ways. You won't find peace and healing being stubborn in your old ways. You will find that when you grow out of your old ways into new ways in order to maintain your mature peace. You get what I'm saying? So basically, it's like if you see someone just acting ratchet and ghetto or someone who's just always talking negativity, then you, understanding your mature peace is basically, you know, like I understand where you're coming from, but like the more you talk about it in that manner, the more it's just going to irritate you and just steal your peace or your happiness or the solution from coming into fruition in order for you to have peace have a resolution and a solution over whatever it is you're going through. You know, but if you can complain about the same problem over and over, it's because you like the problem. You like to entertain it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just get so used to complaining instead of just taking action so they don't have no reason to complain. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's that simple. So, mm, excuse me. Mm, Lord have mercy. Oh, I need a massage, a little something. You know what I'm saying? Lord have mercy. But, Oh, excuse me. I don't know. I think I'm thirsty. But, um, but yeah, like, don't, don't keep entertaining things that are going to get a rise out of you if you know what those things are, you know? Because if God is your peace, then make sure you are doing what you can to maintain that peace within yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just like, if you know if you're going to keep drinking more and more every day, you're going to end up becoming an alcoholic. If you drink, if you smoke weed every day, you become a pothead. But there's consequences behind all of that. You get what I'm saying? Not only that, eating chocolate every day, there's consequences behind that. You know, same thing, eating grease every day. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean, you know? You want to keep entertaining something that's just going to make you feel less or weak or sick or 
you know, stressed out and angry and upset for no reason. You know, then the next you know, everything irritates you. Next you know, you're walking in frustration and anger. You're driving like that. You're flipping people off. You're cutting people off in line. You're getting into unnecessary fights. You're hurting people for no reason because you're not walking your mature peace. You keep allowing all of these things to interfere with your serenity, you know? Because sometimes people think it's like, we're supposed to entertain everybody and their mama same way same story like no that's exhausting get away from me like no i want to walk in my peace oh i'm gonna walk in my peace either we're gonna walk in peace together or we cutting ties we parting ways i'm, I'm saying see ya a la bella. you know what i'm saying like goodbye god bless you i see you on another time you know what i'm saying but you can't keep sacrificing your peace because people don't want to act you know mature or don't, don't want to take the necessary action to grow and blossom so they won't keep having these same excuses to it complain and continue to entertain the lies and the foolishness and all this ghettoness and ratchetness and like you know god made you better than that you know just be like for me it's like you know like i i lived like in different complexes and apartments and the hood as people call it but I wasn't acting ratchet and ghetto. I wasn't, I didn't, there was no need for me to be like that. You know what I'm saying? I was raised better than that. I carried myself the way God taught me and the way my parents taught me. You know, your environment doesn't define who you are. You define your environment. You know, you can be in the ghetto, but it doesn't mean you have to walk ghetto, talk ghetto, start doing the most. No, you keep, you keep your standards, your more, your self-respect. Just because you live in like in the projects doesn't mean you have to keep your house all dirty and filthy. Doesn't mean for you to throw garbage outside the window. No, you keep it pristine. You keep it clean because at the end of the day, you're you're doing for the approval of God. You're not doing it for yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like you do it for his approval. And that's just what that is. You know what I'm saying? And it's that's just walking in your truth, you know, because if you're a clean person, you're a clean person. You get what I'm saying? If people know your character and and, and, and if people know your character that you're a clean person, but then you start being dirty and filthy, then something is off. You get what I'm saying? But with that, I end my video. Like I said, all my videos. I love you. God bless you. I thank you. Until my next one, peace. Remember, embrace your mature, right? What did I say? Embrace your mature maturity. <laughs> uh, but until my next one, peace. It's been a long day.